I'm going to talk techie for a few seconds. It's a, it's a <laughs> Intel quad-core 1.9 gigahertz uh, processor with four gigabytes of RAM. That enables it to be very fast and very powerful. We're going to try and demonstrate some of that to you today. Um, it's also got an SSD, so a solid state drive, which some of you may have in your laptops nowadays, uh, to again enable fast access to data, which when you're looking at maps and, and music and so on, you can pull that up nice and quick. So um, let's, uh, let's make a start then, because what, what you want to know is how's, how to use it in the real world and how that's going to sort of benefit you. So um, I'm just going to put the radio on just to sort of show you some things. So um, obviously all cars got radio, we, we support DAB, but we also support various other sources. So I've plugged in uh, an eight gigabyte stick, USB stick like you all have, and it's got, I don't know, a thousand songs in it or something. And I can, I can look at that. I've still got the right thing <laughs> <laughs> And what's nice is it's, um, we've got a Grace Notes database on the car, which means that you can access the album art. So, for example, you see here we're playing Amy Winehouse, and it's got the picture there, and it's actually shown in the background as well. So we can do nice graphical things with this processor. That's a common um, theme here. We're, we're trying to make this thing usable, because there's a lot of technology out there that isn't usable, and this is usable. So, you know, we can, we can pop to that, and we can then play the albums, and then off it will go, and then you get the uh, correct album art. So that's really nice. Nice little features. We can control the climate system over this as well, just because it's convenient. We can also connect phones, but I mean, you're used to that, you can connect phones. Nice little touches, we've got another little display here, so your recent numbers, you can pull them up and play, and uh, sorry, select those straight from the steering wheel switches, which is a nice sort of hands-free feature. But it starts to get interesting when you talk about connectivity and the navigation. So if we select navigation, for example, we've got a brand new um, map with color format, funnily enough, um, and, um, and again, we can show here how quick the processor is. We pinch and zoom just like you do on your tablets at home. And I've just put in here, for example, um, uh, Westminster, or actually, I put in Big Ben, actually. But you can see some of the richness of the, the data wow. that's on the map.